today I'm back with a new After Effects tutorial and in this tutorial I will show you how you can quickly create a cool looking loading bar in After Effects. And first off I'm gonna start in Adobe Illustrator to create a very simple design. So if you want to skip that just uh, you know just skip the first part. But um, yeah let me know what you guys think. Hopefully it's useful. If you have some questions drop a comment below. And if you like this stuff, like and subscribe, do whatever you want. Um, but let's get into it. So like I said, we start in Adobe Illustrator and I'm just gonna draw something that looks like a loading bar. So I'm gonna use a stroke for this. Just create something like this. And I'm gonna set the stroke to five points. And now we're gonna create the inner part, which can just be totally black. So change this from stroke to fill. And now let's just align these parts a little bit. Something like this should be fine. Now, of course, you want to have some text above it. So we have a little title over here that says loading. And of course we want a percentage. So let's just type in 100%. Uh, we probably want to scale it a little bit. So just play around with this. Create something you personally like and can use. But um, yeah, I think something like this should be fine. So there's our design for the loading bar. Now, let's just head over to Adobe After Effects and start animating this bad boy. So I'm gonna start with the counter. So select this text and just come on C to copy it. And now let's just head over to Adobe After Effects. So as you can see, I already created a new project. Again, I'm using a 1080p project. So these are the settings I'm using for the size. Now let's start by creating a new text layer. And now you can simply hit Command V to copy the same font and font size that we used in Adobe Illustrator. We also have to do this for the loading text. So again, go back to Adobe Illustrator, select the loading text, hit Command A to select all of it, then hit Command C to copy it. Go back to After Effects, create another new text layer, and again hit Command V. Now just arrange these layers until you have something that you like. And now we can start working on the bar. So again, go to Illustrator and select the stroke part. Hit Command C, go to After Effects, create a new shape layer. Hit Command V. And now you see this mask. Uh, apart from that, you can't really see anything. So um, we're gonna have to apply an effect called stroke. So in the effects panel, just type in stroke and there it is, generate stroke and apply it to the shape layer. Now set the color to black or whatever color you like really. Hit all masks, set the brush size to five and set the brush hardness to 100%. All right. Now let's just move this down a little bit. And now for the inside of the loading bar, we have to create a new solid layer and make sure it's black. Now one more time, head over to Adobe Illustrator and select the black shape. Copy it, so hit Command C. Go back to After Effects and while the black solid is selected, hit Command V. 
there you go and as you can see it has created a mask for the black solid so let's move this down a little bit yep try to recreate the right position and now we're going to start by animating the 100% text. I don't know if you want the percentage or not. I'll show both methods. Let me start by just using the number. So what we have to do is we have to apply an effect to this text layer and it's the slider control. So just look it up in your effects panel and just apply it to the layer. All right, and now comes the fun part, just unfold this stuff. And now alt click the stopwatch for the source text. And now use this whip to connect it to the slider. All right, so as you can see, once we play around with the slider, the number changes. So that's pretty cool. We can use keyframes for this so it goes from a zero to a hundred. But if you want to add the percentage icon, um, we have to modify this a little bit. I've already altered this text a little bit and let me just paste it in here. Um, I'll make sure you guys can use this, but um, to show you the difference, this is the slider right now, so without the percentage but this is the text I'm using. And as you can see, we've added the math floor uh, and at the end, the percentage. So once we use that, let me just delete this. It will add that icon. Now we can start creating keyframes for the slider control. So we start with a zero and then after let's say two seconds, it goes to a hundred. Well, let's see how that looks. There it goes. And finally, we can start playing around with the loading bar. And as you can see, we have a mask over here. And I'm just gonna start by creating a path at the end because this is how it should eventually look. Now move over to the first keyframe create another keyframe for the path and now deselect it and make sure you only select these two anchor points at the right and just hold shift and drag it down all the way to the beginning and once we play it it will look like a simple loading bar that's it pretty cool right but of course you can just play around with this. Most of the times when something is loading, it, it sometimes stops at around, let's say 40%. Uh, then it takes another second or so, and then it starts loading again. So if you wanna recreate that, of course you have to play around with the keyframes. You could, for example, add another keyframe for your slider control. Okay, it's at 36% now. So let's just create a keyframe over here. And another one over here that should also be at 36 percent but of course we also have to do that for the loading bar so let's just create a keyframe at the same exact spot like so and select that keyframe hit command c now go to the second keyframe and hit command v and then it will stay in place for a little bit and of course since we added this part we can move these two keyframes back a little bit something like this and then it looks like this all right guys so that's pretty much it as you can see this was a very easy tutorial and design wise you know it, it doesn't look that great but I just want to inspire you show you the basic expression so you can create your own stuff so um, yeah, go ahead and have fun with this. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.